Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today we're taking a look at BMW's new M4 convertible. So we recently had the latest iteration of the M3, the Saloon, and when they converted that into the coupe form, the 4 Series was born for the first time. The M4 came out and hot on the heels of that, we have this M4 convertible. So the M4 convertible, naturally, it shares the same power plant as the coupe, so we've got a twin turbo straight six engine, good for 425 brake horsepower. The big difference, of course, though, is the lack of a roof. Or should I say a roof that is currently stowed away in the boot of the car. So on the coupe, it had a carbon fibre roof and a carbon fibre rear deck lid, which of course is lost in exchange for the steel folding hardtop that this car has. That means it gained around 200 kilos of weight, which obviously adds um, or increases the uh, 0-62 time from 4.3 seconds to 4.6 but it does obviously offer you the M-Power experience with the roof open, driver and three passengers. The roof itself folds out, which I'm going to demonstrate right now, as well as show you a bit more around the car. So we have the key here. If you press and hold the lock button, the roof will start folding up and out of the car. So the rear deck lid opens up and the three-piece roof rises out. This takes 20 seconds, can be done while driving up to 8 miles per hour as well. I'll show you in the, uh, in the boot afterwards. It's always a bit of wizardry watching this. How it all pieces together. Bit of hit or miss, so I think some people aren't huge fans of the lines when you have the roof up. But it's certainly cleaner than it could be and it does look incredibly good with that roof down. Um, in the trunk, as they say here in the US, just take a look, lift that up. So as it is at the moment, obviously the roof takes up this area of the car. You can fold that away to enlarge your space, 370 litres like that, with the roof down in the boot. You have a 220 litre boot available to use. This particular car, I should say, is finished in Silverstone Silver Metallic. It's got the 19-inch wheels. Quite like the gold colour brake calipers as well. Have a quick look at the inside here. See, it's a keyless system, so you touch the handle and it unlocks, as you heard. the new displays and dials. I'll do a full piece also talking about the interior setup, so make sure you check that in the M drive options and the like. Uh, let's just have a quick sound, because this is something that seems to be tearing opinion on this car. So start, stop. Starting up. we've got the straight six, the previous car had the V8. Put it, turn it off, put it back in gear, first gear, handbrake on, shut it off. But uh, when you're driving it, as I'll also talk about, some driving impressions, you get a lot of sound, especially with the roof down. With the roof down, you hear the exhaust. With the roof up, you have um, a lot of the sort of induced sound coming out through the speakers. But I think it's without sort of doubt this car looks awesome. Um, maintains the bonnet, the uh, hump on the bonnet that it had from the previous generation. But, uh, looking forward to taking this for a drive now and getting to experience the new M4 for the first time. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So make sure you also check out the video. We're going to be jumping on in now and having a play through some of the electronics and the systems available, and what you can sort of change and tweak the M-Power stuff. So make sure you're subscribed, check that out, and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>